Hi folks, I need to thank some people before we go any further. Thank you to viewers like HJD who caught my initial error in uploading this video. This is why I very much enjoy doing this channel. Thank you again. And now on to the battle. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Hills Plantation, also known as the Battle of Cotton Plant, that occurred in Woodruff County, Arkansas on July 1st, 1862. Union Major General Samuel R. Curtis had been campaigning near Helena, Arkansas over the summer, and he was awaiting supplies promised to him, but had yet to be delivered by the U.S. Navy. In his search for supplies, Curtis marched his men along the White River, towards the U.S. Navy Supply Flotilla parked near Clarendon, Arkansas. Confederate Major General Thomas C. Heinemann ordered Brigadier General Albert Russ to stop the Union troops on July 7, 1862, at the Cachet River. For unknown reasons, General Rust's movements towards his Union opponent was slow, too slow to catch them at the river. Instead, the Confederates found the Union troops four miles south of the river, on Parley Hills Plantation near an old cotton plant. The Union troops caught in this position were part of the 400 men from the Illinois and Wisconsin Infantry under the command of Union Colonel Charles E. Hovey. Across from them were the Confederates, consisting of two Texas Cavalry regiments, numbering approximately 5,000 men, under the command of Confederate Colonel William H. Parsons. The Confederate cavalry, outnumbering the Union by more than 10 to 1, made repeated attacks against the Union. The attacks were poorly organized, and the Union troops stayed calm during the battle. Colonel Parsons then commanded his Texas cavalry to retreat as Union reinforcements had begun to arrive. On July 8th, the 2nd Wisconsin Cavalry, under the command of Brigadier General Cadwallader C. Washburn, Oh my God, these names are fantastic. Pursued Parsons and his Texas cavalry all the way back to the Cache River, destroying two ferries and capturing many prisoners. Meanwhile, Union Major General Curtis's bad luck had continued. They proceeded on to Clarendon, only to find that the U.S. Navy flotilla had left the previous day. This left them with no supplies. He then, in desperation, turned his men east to Helena and took it over on July 12th, which the Union controlled for the rest of the war. The estimated total killed and wounded for the Union were 63 men, while the Confederate forces suffered 260 men killed, wounded, and captured. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.